Okay, so in this problem, we're told a light beam coming from an underwater spotlight exits the water at an angle of 56 degrees. At what angle of incidence did it hit the air-water interface from below the surface? So as always, you want to draw what's going on here. So we can imagine this is our light beam that's going to be shined from underwater. And we know we're going to be shining it, and then it's going to go through, and it's going to bend as a result of Snell's law, and it's going to create a new angle here, uh, which we call theta 2. So we know it's going to bend as a result of Snell's law and the changing of the index of refraction. So uh, another thing we want to label is we know it's going in water here and air here. So it goes from water into air. And so, uh, yeah, so let me write down a couple more things. I'm going to call this N1 and N2. So the first thing we need to know is what these angles are. So there's two angles. This angle right here is what we call the angle of incidence. This angle right here is what we call the angle of refraction. So uh, right, they tell us in this problem what we're solving for is the angle of incidence. So we're going to be solving for this value theta of 1. Uh, and so what the angle of incidence is, you see this normal line right here, and then we have our surface. The angle between the beam and this normal line, right, which is perpendicular to our surface, that's what we call the angle of incidence. And then when it's leaving, uh, the angle between it and the normal line is the angle of refraction. And so they give us the angle of refraction here. They tell us it exits the water at an angle of 56 degrees. So this uh, value right here, theta 2, is 56 degrees. Another thing you're going to need to know is the index of refraction uh, for this problem. And we need it in both scenarios. So in the water here, this medium, and then in air. So for air, the index of refraction is just 1. Uh, for water, the value is 1.33. So the value is uh, different depending on the type of fluid or the type of medium you're in. So uh, yeah, these are the values for the two in this problem. And so in order to solve this, what we're going to use is Snell's law. So Snell's law basically just relates uh, right, the index of refraction and basically just tells us how we're changing. The angle is changing as a result of going from one medium to another. So basically it just relates the bending of light uh, from one medium to another. So uh, Snell's law is written by this basic formula here. So the formula is n1 sine of theta 1 equals n2 sine of theta 2. So 1 would just be your initial, right, before it enters. Uh, so this is in the water. And then 2 is your other medium, so at the end. So basically, you just have your initial medium and then your uh, final. So uh, if you think about it, what we're solving here is theta 1. That's what we want. So we need n1, n2, and theta 2. Well, n1 is your index of refraction uh, for your just initial part, right? So where it is in the beginning, which is water, we have that. n2 is where it leaves, right? So that medium, which is just 1. Uh, and then theta 2 is the angle of refraction, uh, which they give us is 56 degrees. So all we got to do is just plug it in and solve for theta 1. So uh, yeah. So if we go ahead and plug this in, we have 1.33 sine of theta 1 equals 1 times anything is just that thing. So we really have the sine of 56 degrees. So to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by uh, 1.33. Uh, and then you would take the arc sine of both sides to get rid of this sine. So let's go ahead and do that. So you take the arc sine of this value, sine of 56, divided by 1.33. So let's go ahead and see what this is. So sine of 56 divided by 1.33. Then you're going to take the arc sine of that. Yeah, so you're going to get an angle of theta 1 equals 38.56. So uh, your angle or angle of incidence in this case is 38.56 degrees. Uh, you can round however you'd like. Uh, just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer. Uh, and then just a quick check whenever you're doing these problems. If you go from an index of refraction from a bigger number to a smaller number, right, your angle should increase in the opposite. So we notice that. So 38 is obviously less than 56. So since we're going from bigger to smaller, uh, the angle should increase.
And if you're doing the opposite, if you're increasing the index of your fraction, uh, you should notice the angle decreases. So basically, the bigger the value of index of refraction, uh, the smaller your angle is going to be. So that's just a quick check to make sure you're going in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, so really this problem was just about recognizing Snell's law uh, and the different values that make it up, plugging it in, and uh, solving. Uh, but yeah, so uh, 38.56 degrees, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.